Yo, 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 yo. What up, guys? It's your boy, Gorilla Bear Tech. Man, guys, it's been such a while. It's been such a good while. But, folks, I'm back to you guys again with another product. Unboxing, or I should say unbagging. Technically, this would be considered an unbagging. And I know, like I said, guys, it's... It, folks, it's been a while since I've done an unboxing or review. Anything tech-related, for that matter. So... Since the last video, which was this uh, this little device, I, uh, the the PicTech, the PicTech, I believe it was called, P I C T E K. Um, ever since I did the review on that PicTech um, little, uh, it's some kind of device. It's it's this device that you know plays uh, rainfall uh, rainfall sounds at night, and you know it's got different. Um, different tunes. Anyways, it's called the Pick Tech, and uh, I forgot the model number, but um, I, did a, I did a review on that about, you know, three to four weeks ago, five weeks ago, and since then I haven't done anything since. I haven't even uploaded that video, but I will be uh, here shortly. All right, so this is an Intigy Ultra Precision LiPo Voltage uh, LiPo Battery Checker. And basically what these do, guys, this is my first time um, having experience with one of these and uh, going to be opening one of these. All right. This is something you buy if you have a hobby level RC electric brushless power drone, you know, like a racing drone, something like that, uh, an RC car, anything that's hobby level or hobby grade that powers off of a lipo battery you can only use this on lipo batteries okay it's not compatible with nickel metals now once again it's called the ultra precision lipo voltage meter okay or i just call it a checker in my case all right but it basically plugs into your batteries with these prongs right here that you see at the bottom okay from what i've been told at my uh, local hobby shop and they go into your uh into your bat uh <clears throat> They go into your battery balance port, okay? That little white balance port, all right? That hangs off the side of your LiPo battery, specifically if it's an aftermarket and not a Traxxas battery, okay? So whether it's 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, or 6S, most of them are gonna come with balance leads hanging out of them from the side, all right? And they're gonna have little tiny prongs, and these longer prongs are inserted into that little white plastic piece, okay? So, once you basically insert it, it should just turn on as such and uh, instantly tell you, you know, if your cells are good, if they're damaged, if your cells are losing health, such and such, all right? So, it's pretty easy from what I've seen. I've seen videos on this, and it seems like it would be something very easy to use. I have to get used to it, so I'm going to put it through its paces and... Uh, then explain to you guys what it's all about on a follow-up review video, okay? So, Antigy is a very popular company. I actually, uh, I don't think I have any of their other products. I might. I don't think I have anything Antigy or later right now. No, I don't think so. Okay, I got to go back and check. But anyways, I think this is my first Antigy product, all right? Because I got a uh, ProTech receiver voltage stabilizer, and that's... You know, nothing that has to do with this. You know, that's from a different company called Protec. So, once again, this is an Intigy product. I believe my first. It's not a toy. All right. They cost $12. So, $11.99 plus tax. All right. Intigy Incorporated. I believe uh, they're made up in Walnut, California, as it shows here. All right. Here's what it looks like on the front. Now, it gives you an ascending tone. And if there's something wrong, it's going to constantly beep from videos I've seen, okay? And it, it sends off a loud alarm, all right? It's a buzzer, basically, okay? And this is basically the model number. It was, it, it is made in China. I was going to say it was made in China. Obviously, it's made in China. I haven't even used it. But uh, MFG, pound sign, C23212X, okay? Intigy.com for the website if you need to consult with the website, all right? Performance enhancements, custom parts, accessories, they make all of that great company. All right. 
Once again, it's an ultra precision LiPo voltage checker with adjustable voltage level warning buzzer. All right, and this is basically all it is, guys, okay? So I'm just gonna unbag it and uh, show you what it's all about. Right here, you got LiPo battery voltage tester. Okay, so it's basically a tester, all right? In essence, low voltage buzzer alarm. And it shows right here, you use for one to eight S LiPo lithium ion, LIMN, LIFE voltage detection precision. Unit voltage display range is 0.5-4.5 volts. 1S test mode voltage range is 3 to 15 volts. Alarm set value range is off to 0.7 to 3.8 volts. Well, basically 2.7 to 3.8 volts. All right. Okay. And it ranges from 1S all the way up to 8S. Okay. And then there's another website right there for the actual unit itself. I don't know why they have a separate website, but aocoda.com, aocoda.com. Okay. So I hope uh, you guys can see this. All right, but we're going to unbag it here, or I'm going to bag it and show you guys what it's all about, all right? And I'm going to do a review on it once I start using it for a while, and I'll tell you guys what I think, okay? This, this basically is perfect for someone... And it's ideal for someone who has a drone, specifically a drone, that doesn't have a voltage cutoff mode on the electronic speed controller, also known as an ESC. All right? That's why people basically buy these. And the cheaper these are, you can buy the really cheap ones off Amazon or eBay, the crappier they are, the less accurate they are. It's kind of like a GPS device, you know, that tracks your speed. Okay, but I spent $12 because I knew that spending $12, I would get a decent one here. This would be really good. And it is pretty good quality from what it looks to be, as far as looks are concerned. But uh, only time will tell. I'm gonna put it to the test and see what it's all about. But anyways, let me unbag it real fast. And uh, there's the label. I took the label off, and then it's gonna be in a little baggie like this. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, whoops. Almost dropped my device here. Give me a sec real fast, guys. Okay. All right. Got it out of the bag. This is it right here. Okay. So it's a nice little nifty device. It's a buzzer. It will as a buzzer and alarm built in. It's not a buzzer. Like I said, it's one of those voltage checker things. And twelve dollars, but it's necessary, especially if you have a drone. Uh, it's not necessary for all I see for all I RC cars, but if you want to go all out, you know, it's definitely good to have. All right, but it's not necessary for all RC cars or planes or boats. Uh, if they have a voltage cutoff on the ESC, then you're okay. But you know, some drones out there like the uh, the Fury Bees, the E Sheens, you know, the big brushless ones that fly over you know 50 to 60 miles per hour and faster. Uh, you're definitely going to need one of these for those because most of those don't have a voltage cutoff from what I know, okay? Uh, specifically, specifically these, uh, these, these name brands that I haven't even heard of. I uh, forgot the name of them. There are so many of them. Yeah, I, I only know Fury being Isheen and um, what's this other brand? Wizard. Okay, but that's all I know about. I'm not a huge drone guy, but once I do get into drones, I'll know more about them. All right, I just got the little brush Dishin and Fury B ones, the little indoor ones. But like I said, this is pretty much it right here. All right, this is what it looks like. Dimensions are about an inch, an inch and a half. Um, yeah. Very basic unbag and unboxing video. All right. I gotta still learn how this works. So this is my first time having one of these guys. I've never used these in the years that I've been our seeing. So finally I decided to take it serious and get one. Instead of having a fire with one of my LiPo batteries, you know what I'm saying? So anyway. Alright y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Okay. Catch you guys in the next one. 
I'm going to start to put out videos, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Comment down below. Like or dislike. Show me the love, baby. And uh, thank you, folks, for everything. If you're new to this channel, please, uh, please follow this channel by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell or tapping on it simply on your uh, mobile device if you're not on a uh, laptop or desktop computer, all right, or if you're using a tablet. So I encourage you guys to check out the channel. If you don't like it, there's plenty of other channels to watch, other tech channels, that is. It's YouTube, guys, okay? And if you want to troll, go ahead. Um, you're just wasting your time, all right? But other than that, guys, pick one of these up if you want to be on the safe side like myself, all right? Review portion of this unboxing or unbagging will be out shortly. All right, y'all, take care. Little Bear Tech is out.